Welcome back, Warriors. As I'm sure you noticed, ANA TV has a new intro. We hope you all liked it as much as we did. Big thanks to Sebastian Rosso for his hard work. February just passed, and we celebrate Black History Month. Chris Huggins has the story. February is Black History Month, but why? We begin with this man, Carter G. Woodson, author, historian, and journalist, and the second African American to receive a doctorate from Harvard University. Dr. Woodson noticed that African American people were overlooked by the writers of history textbooks and the teachers who used them. So, he started a Black History Week in 1926. He chose the month of February because it held the birthday of both Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, men he believed had done so much for the rights and liberties of African Americans. His idea caught on, and soon schools and communities began organizing celebrations. The Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s sparked even greater interest in the many accomplishments of African American history makers and individuals that broke down barriers and paved new paths for future generations. We asked our own Staff Sergeant Nixon what his opinion is on Black History Month and what message he would send to the youth. Is the first thing they need to remember is remember where you came from, remember how everything started. Um, sparked off a lot of things. In my era, I, I, I can't use that. I have to use individuals in my era. So, you know, you got Kobe, okay? You got Kobe, you got LeBron, you got, you got all those individuals. They breaking barriers, okay? This is, that's what they're doing. So they all inspired me. You know, I got, you know, comedians, like I say, you know, even Steve Harvey, even as old as he is, but they all breaking barriers, inspiring us to continue to do better. And it's, they're on a level that I can, we can relate to because everybody can relate to either sports Everybody can relate to some, a comedian, and everybody can, can, can relate to things that come on TV. Even the cartoons, just the, the, the uh, Spider-Man cartoon movie that's in. When they changed the whole dynamics of it, and it was a, a black kid playing Spider-Man. That ain't never happened. Black History Month means a lot to me by the great contributions made by black men and women throughout time. I would like to be remembered as somebody who wanted to be free so that other people could be free. You are somebody. You matter. And no one is allowed to take away your right to your property, your right to your safety, or your right to be yourself. Those are things that should be defended. I don't do black music. I don't do white music. I do everyday life music. For a new segment today, after 120 years of failed attempts, Congress passed legislation that classified lynching as a federal hate crime. The Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act was named after the 14-year-old African-American boy who was lynched in Mississippi in 1955 by white supremacists. The Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act passed on a 410 to 4 votes. The 4 votes against came from the following representatives. Justin Amash, Independent, Michigan. GOP Leo Lowry Gaham, Texas. GOP Thomas Ma Massey, Kentucky, and Ted Yochel, Florida. Our band went to Front Royal, Virginia, for the Military School Band and Choir Festival. We are completing this segment with a little tribute to our drum major, Yuki Liu. I hope all of you enjoy a long and relaxing break, and we'll see everyone back after break. From Warrior TV, I am Nick Jarman. Request permission to enter the troop pack. Great. 